Why is the judge from hell igniting the global drama scene like a wildfire? As we delve into the phenomenon, the answers might surprise you. The judge from hell, frontlined by Park Shin Hai, has been making waves, bagging a nationwide rating of 8% for its third episode. This is an improvement from its premiere rating of 6.8%, but a slight drop from the previous episode's 9.3%. Despite the fluctuations, the show has managed to secure a spot on Disney Plus' top 10 list in various countries, gaining international recognition. The captivating storyline follows a demon, played by Park Shin Hai, who possesses the body of an elite judge and dispenses justice with a human detective by her side. The fourth episode, which aired on September 28th, was highly anticipated by fans worldwide. But The Judge from Hell isn't just about its supernatural plot. The drama also highlights the contrasting emotions of its characters, setting the stage for an intriguing storyline. Park Shin Hai's Kang Bit Na is portrayed as emotionless and fearsome, while Kim Jae Young's detective Honda On appears sorrowful and emotionally shaken. This balance of fear and empathy adds depth to the narrative, keeping viewers on their toes. In the competitive landscape of K-dramas, The Judge from Hell has proven its mettle. While Netflix's Love Next Door experienced a slight dip in domestic ratings, The Judge from Hell has been soaring, becoming a top-watched show. Amidst the buzz of upcoming releases like Squid Game's second season Light Shop and The Trunk, this drama has carved its niche thanks to its unique storyline. The Judge from Hell is more than just a K-drama. It's a testament to the power of compelling storytelling and nuanced performances. As of now, the show seems to be on a promising trajectory and the future prospects look bright. So, will the judge from hell continue to rule the ratings and win hearts? Only time will tell. But one thing's for certain, this show is a must-watch for any K-drama enthusiast.